Hello again, friends. This is Jackie of All Trades. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. As you'll remember, I'm working on a remodel of my master bathroom. And as this old video and pics of before and after show, it is coming along swimmingly. You'll see here that we've made quite a bit of progress and not to give a whole lot away, but I wanted to show you today that I'm going to be installing this corner shelf that I got for my shower. The kit from Palisades comes with the shelf itself, these mounting brackets, uh, hardware here and uh, instructions. Now for this job, I had to provide my own drill, masonry bits, level, construction adhesive and caulk, dry erase marker, anchors, hammer, and masking tape. The list is here for you to see. I'll start by deciding where exactly I want to install the shelf. I love how well the shelf matches with my bathroom tile choice, and the Palisades brand has a number of tile designs to choose from. If you're interested in seeing them all, I'm providing a link in the description below. I took the dry erase marker and I marked the space on the wall where I want the shelf installed. Then I marked the pre-drilled holes on the mounting bracket over the masking tape to get the wall spacing just right. I lined up the masking tape just below my marker line to leave space for the wider bracket that I'm about to mount. And then I'm taking a quick check to make sure that this is going to be level if I install it this way before I actually put holes in the wall. All right, it looks good. So now I'm gonna take this special masonry bit for drilling holes through tile. And after initially scoring the area where I wanna drill my holes, I'll start drilling. The key to neat holes without cracking or damaging the tile is slow and steady pressure. So here you'll get a close up here. I'm gonna show you how I do it here. And um, though we're on a time lapse, I really do, I go slowly and I let the bit do the work. And after I make my breakthrough here, I'm going to pull it out and then I'll remove the tape to show you the clean hole that we're left with. Okay, it looks good and it's ready to mount. So I'm going to put in these wall anchors really quickly. These are anchors that I had to provide myself. They did not come in the kit, but I'll get them in there. And then with a hammer, very light taps I'm making on these anchors so that I can get them in the wall, but not damage the tile. Here, I wasn't able to get that anchor to go in far enough, but I'm gonna address that with a drill and screw. I'm fastening these brackets using the mounting screws provided, but I kept forgetting to add the construction adhesive for a bit of extra hold. Not kidding you guys, I did this twice. So with the bracket already halfway installed and it having already pierced the wall anchor, I had to squeeze some glue in behind the bracket and then use a chopstick to spread it around so that it had a good hold. And for that anchor I wasn't able to tap down, I added a little extra pressure to the bracket and now the area sits flat. I'm gonna do one more check of the fit and now it's time to install the second bracket. So I'm gonna screw in the screws halfway and then check the fit one more time. I just want to make sure that I've got this right, you guys. Looks good, but guess who forgot the construction adhesive again? Yep, this guy. I had to pull out my trusty chopstick again. Second verse, same as the first. I'll now provide you with a close-up of this awesome chopstick action. And then I'll slowly screw in the brackets from side to side, adding even pressure, and I'll later wipe away the excess adhesive. Afterwards, I step back and I take a look at the bracket side by side and notice the left side is slightly higher than the right side on the inside, but that slight pitch may actually help with water runoff later, so I'm not gonna freak out about it. It's time to install the shelf itself and I've lined the inside of it with the Loctite adhesive and I put it uh, not too close to the edge so as to control how much spills out when it's time to install. Um, I slide the shelf in place over the brackets and it's looking masterful, you guys. See how well it's holding the weight of the drill? I love this finished look so much, I'm actually considering adding a second shelf. We'll take a final check and make sure that the shelf is level. I'll put some weight on it and let it sit for about 24 hours before caulking out the perimeter. I'm very proud of how well the bathroom remodel is going and I love the progress we're making. More videos will be added soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.